Hey everyone, my name is Gadget Trish and you are watching the I Love the Jackson Family YouTube channel. And today I thought I would share with you some of my tips and tricks on how I get to do awesome Jackson Family things on a budget. Cause I've said it before, I don't come from money. Last year I literally made less money than I had in the last 10 years. And I still got to go to Thriller Night. I got to go to Gary, Indiana. Um, I went to California. So the point is, I thought I would share these tips because I definitely don't have a lot of money. So let's just get into it. All right, so um, right now we are in tax return season. If you don't have any lingering bills, that one might be a great opportunity just to put it in your savings account. So when something happens, it's the money is already there. Next, spend as little bit of money as you can throughout the year. I do shop a lot, I will admit that, but I shop in thrift stores, I shop in uh, places like Five Below, Poshmark, eBay, lot less. Um, I'm not sure if you guys saw my Jackson Family Holiday Special, but there was a lot of the stuff I got was cheap like no more than 10 bucks and it was quality that's you know cheaper quality ah speaking of poshmark and ebay let's say you're not using these things anymore especially if you're watching this channel more than likely you're a collector sometimes you buy triples and doubles and stuff be willing to sell it back on ebay poshmark i'm not saying get rid of stuff for like five dollars but you guys know sometimes you buy something and it's worth more than you expect it that's a great opportunity to put it back on sale. Um, I know I do a lot of closeout stores, thrift stores. Sometimes I buy something for $5, but I could sell it for $50. So be open to selling your stuff back on places like eBay and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I struggle with this, but I'm getting better at this. Avoid eating out. Make food at home, buy in bulk, buy um, things, I don't know if your area has it, but where I live, they actually have a clearance rack. It's basically br bruised fruits and vegetables that would have like normally went in the garbage. Sometimes I pay a dollar for something that's normally like five bucks. Always shop when things are on sale. And then of course buy it in bulk from that point. And um, yeah, stop doing the eating apps and eating out. Make food from your home. Now this is tricky because for me, my situation happened by accident, but if you could travel with friends, you will save on costs like hotels, Ubers. I found my friends by accident and it was just me going to Jackson family events over time and like it was an organic uh, friendship that bonded over the last 12 years I've been doing this. I will say this though, don't become someone's friend hoping to be part of something or hoping to, you know, I can't explain it, but don't force a friendship to be able to travel. Traveling with people is very tricky. Everyone has different personalities. Um, I know with our group, some of us like air conditioners, some doesn't. Some of us like to sleep a lot, some of us don't. So we actually try to pair each other by our sleeping patterns and um, room temperature preferences. So it's these little things that can make a trip really cool or really not. And so, yeah, like if you travel with people to save money, make sure you're also a good compatible fit. If you have a credit card, some of them have reward programs. I know for me, sometimes I get like free stuff on Amazon, free trips. If I'm not mistaken, all my trips that I took last year, I got them with reward points. How awesome is that? I don't think I'll pay for any of my flights. And also with credit cards, if you can't pay a credit card in a timely manner, like sometimes you could finance stuff interest-free or it's only interest-free for 30 days. If you can't pay stuff off once the interest-free period is over, I'm going to highly recommend this. Don't do the event. Like there are some things I haven't been able to do yet because I don't have the money. And that's just the truth of my reality. I don't like to do things unless I can pay it off in a timely matter. I don't like paying interest. Last but not least, plan your trips in advance as much as you could. 
I know for me, there are two to three things I want to do for this year. Not sure if I could do it, but I know I want to do it. So I'll be selling stuff. I'll be saving my money. I'll be spending as little as possible. I know what I want to do already. Um, if you know what you want to do, like a lot of you guys already told me in my in the Instagram story poll that a lot of you guys will be going to Thriller Night for this year. You need to be saving aggressively. It's expensive. You know, when your birthdays come around, uh, ask people for Uber cards for gifts, your favorite flight gift cards, like find a way to cut the cards. But plan in advance. If you know what outfit you want to wear, you know, buy your costume in advance. It's usually cheaper in off seasons. Um, so yeah, plan, 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 plan. And if you don't have anybody to go with, it's okay to go by yourself. If you guys look at my earlier vlogs on my Jackson family tra tra uh, travels, I was by myself and I was fine with that. So, you know, you, you don't need friends to go. It's better. It's cooler to go with friends. But if you don't have anybody, shoot, just go by yourself. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. All right, guys. So those are just uh, some of my tips. If I could think of any more, there'll be a part two to this. But if you have any tips on how to save money, definitely leave that in the comments and um let me know also what are the things that you would like to do in the future is it mj1 is it mj the musical is it thriller night let me know all right that's it for now thank you for watching and until my next post gadgetrish is out bye i'm getting better with no not having awkward endings until now I just messed this up